Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 16. Today wraps up the last day that we will be spending for now on neighborhood landing pages. I've got a little bit more information to share with you regarding those. So if you click on Contacts and come into your contact that you're looking at with regards to their neighborhood landing page, one thing that we can do in those landing pages is we have the opportunity to not only show favorite listings, but also remove listings that we no longer prefer. So let's say I was looking for a home in that two, 250 range. Um, this one might fit the bill. Maybe my agent even showed it to me and yet it just wasn't to our liking. I can click on this little um, icon here, which is basically an eyeball with it shutting. And that's going to hide that listing now from my list. So I can no longer see that. Let's say this listing is one I really like. So I can favorite that one. That one is now favorited in my list. So as the agent is going through, you can see, or the, excuse me, the consumer is going through, you can see this is the one that we favorited yesterday. We still have a few others to kind of view, if you will. And then the consumer can actually come over here to filter. And let's say they just wanted to see their favorite listings that they had looked at. They can click on favorite and you'll see it just shows these two. Now what happens if you were like, whoops, I didn't mean to hide that one. I wanna see that hidden one as well. We can click on include hidden and apply filter and let's get rid of favorites and now you'll see that this is the one that we hid earlier and it's now back available in the search okay so if you do hide one on accident just make sure that you include hidden and it should show back up there for you um, in addition i'm not sure if we ever really talked about the filters but you do have the opportunity for the consumer to filter based upon what they're looking for they could say we want four bedrooms or better at least two full baths Let's say the price range is no more than 300,000 and um, apply that filter. Then, well, I got to undo the favorites because none of my properties that were favorites are in the list. So now I can see all of the properties that were, whoops, that's 25,000 to two. Well, you know what I mean. Should have been 250,000. So I can always come back in and then refilter and put in 250. There we go to 300,000 and apply that filter. So you can see these are all the houses that match. There's only seven in Fawn Lake that match the criteria that I've gotten. And so I may wanna say, hey, uh, you know, agent, I wanna go see this one, I wanna see this one, and I wanna see this one. So it's a great way for me to communicate with my agent. When we go back into command, into my contact record, you'll be able to see, okay, so here are the three listings that I favorited. So if you check in with your client periodically and say, hey, are you using the, um, the consumer uh, website that I sent over to you to look at listings, they can say, yeah, I was actually on it this morning and I saw a few I liked. You could come back into their contact record and see which properties they were actually favoriting. You can also see down here, once they start to do a custom search or a filter, you can see what they're actually looking at. So you can see what they have filtered for uh, the properties that they are looking at, kind of give you a little bit more insight as to what they're searching for. So that's it, guys. There's a little bit more information about the neighborhood snapshots, neighborhood landing pages. Hopefully you're very well versed in those now and can start sending those out to your clients, giving them a call, kind of walking them through it. Feel free to set yourself up on a few so you can become even more familiar with how they work when you're searching for properties. And maybe you're actually looking to search for a property yourself, which can help you there as well. Uh, guys, starting tomorrow, we're going to head on into opportunities and start spending a few days on opportunities as well. So look forward to that. As always, it's a pleasure speaking with you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.